All right, we, we, we finished Helios 1. I want to go do... Whoops. I want to go over here, because I know there's a vault over here. Imagine that verbal yet... Imagine that verbal yet... Practical. Wait, did I miss something? I think I missed something. I might have missed something, sorry. Like, my brain just shut down. That's why I'm like, wait, what did I miss? Oh, 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 okay, okay, we're picking up where we left off. Okay, my bad. I thought it just, I thought Twitch ate your first message, and I'm like, I feel I have missed something. Okay, no, yeah, that would actually be cool, good. Um, type, no, 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 you, you were fine. I was just looking for another part of the conversation, like, did, did Twitch just eat one of his messages? No, like, okay, I'm of the mind, and I'm very aware many people don't think so. There should be a um, college requirement for politicians. If you wish to be in politics, you should be able to go go to college and get a poli sci degree, not a legal, I mean, not a law degree, not a business degree. I think you should have a poli sci degree. Maybe have a minor in economics, because if you are going to be making the decisions that affect policy in the financial part of our country, you should have a degree in those things so you know you know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, I would go further because you can't run for office till you're at least in your 30s. Have a major in poli science and economics, and maybe a science degree of some sort. Just get degrees in the fields that you will be like dealing with. That way, you won't be a bumbling buffoon. But I hear people say, oh, if you do that, then no one can run because they'll be locked out because of, you know, costs to go to college. Make college free. Like, you can just, we can all vote to make college free, therefore everyone can run to be a politician when they go to college for these things. It's not the end of the world if we had politicians who actually were educated in politics. I was just educated in something, other than, like, legal loopholes. I also have made many, many arguments at the police department should require um, cops have the same education as a um, lawyer. Because if a lawyer needs to spend at least four to six years learning how to defend the law, a cop should spend the same amount of time learning how to uphold it. That's my hot take. Also, we can root out all the shitty cops because they won't sit through the schooling to do it. I mean, some will, clearly, but like... A vast majority will just drop out because they'll be like, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking doing that. Actually agree that he's right. Hell, we could, we, we could actually have a debate. Should law school be that long? Or should we um, shorten it and just make it based on um, specialties? I'm willing to have the conversation, but the argument should be that if... Cops are going to be the, like, upholders of oh law. My. They should have a, like, a legal degree. Did I get it? I did. What the fuck? I'm sorry. This was a private party here, and you just fucking interrupted. This was me and my buddies... Having a fucking time, mean time at the lake with the ants, and you decided to show up and do this? The nerve. Boom. Hell yeah. Leave my robot alone. You've hurt my sniper. Get him, Eddie. Get him. What are you doing, my guy? 
You just stand there. What the fuck? Um, special general field. Then they can choose not for me. Exactly. That's that's my point. Like. It wouldn't be the end of the world for that to be the system. Hell, it actually might make it easy. Hell, a lot of people may realize they don't want to be cops. They want to be, like, actual, like, specialty people. Like, for example, my sister right now is in college for bio, I mean, um, forensic chemistry. And it's like, if she has to go to school for all that to get a job as, a C like, a CSI tech, who inevitably becomes a cop, more or less... The people who do the work for her should be having the same level of education. Not the exact same specialty, but, like, just the level of it. So she, two years with base, yeah, yeah, because that's the other thing. Over time, laws do change. So, yeah, you should have a basic, you know, grasp and starting point when you join this. Instead of being like, oh, I know the law. Most citizens don't know the law. What makes you think you do? And this isn't to harp on the people who actually aren't a problem. This is to harp on the ones who are. The ones who are good will just get better. And then everybody wins. Like, that's just basic, um... Hi, Eddie, I need you to be a storage shed. That's just basic understanding. I'm just gonna repair everything and then put it back. Don't move, Eddie. Also, Boone, glad you could join us again. Okay, anything else that can be repaired? Yes. Super Sludge. I always say that one day I'm going to do a, like only a melee weapon. Recap exams every five to ten years to be... Yeah. See, that, to me, sounds the bare minimum of reasonable. For any kind of job like that. It doesn't even sound extreme. It's like, no, that that's actually fair. I view that as actually fucking too nice. Is like the five to ten years, I'm like, eh, I do like two to four. But no, five is five to ten is not bad. Again. I'm not gonna like just yeet them into the sun and say to hell with you. I'm gonna be like, no, I'm willing to work with you. Give you a system that can agree with both of us. Thermic Lance. That we run for off. I truly believe if I was to run, I would run into so many problems. Starting with people where, around where I, specifically just people where around I live, would be very much, um, no. <laughs> I have dabbled in the thought a lot. But I've always concluded it would not go well for me. Don't get me wrong. I, when I consider it, I genuinely do think I'm like ignoring the the financial benefits. I'm always like, no, this pisses me off that Legion slavers can just operate on NCR turf like that. If we hadn't caught up to them, they'd probably have a clear path to the river, no one to stop them. There should be patrols, checkpoints. We got greedy, overstretched. Now our own territory is insecure. So, tell me what you really think, Boone. Not for me either, to be, yeah. No, like, my main reason for being against it, one, I can't afford it, and two, I'm very aware that I'm very, 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 very far left compared to America, and they'd be like, that's too extreme, we can't do that stuff. And I would just be like, I would be beaten on sheer the fact that most Americans would be terrified by my leftist policies. Also, my guy, you were so angry. Let's trade equipment really quick. It's fine by me. Yeah, of course it's fine by you, because I told you it is. Um, take the revolver. Um, he's got some anger juice. I'm also gonna give you. You're not gonna. You're not gonna like. This. Uh, but no, my when my brother ran for a uh, school board in town. I joked, I'm like, I should run against you just to just to give you someone to fucking, like, deal with in competition. He's like, fucking shut up. I didn't, because I'm like, no, th there was no point, but... I thought about it as a joke. 
thought it'd be funny. I'm just gonna have to just hold my shit, cause uh I actually don't need the I don't need the beret. You can hold on to that. Alright, let's go. My guy, put the hat back on. Put the hat back on. Okay. Yeah. Please, for the love of God, put the hat back on. What is it? Fine by me. Please, just put the hat back on. Yeah. I hate that you don't have the hat on. Oh shit, I don't need that. I need this. There we go. Like, just, just no offense, Boone, but like... Yeah, that's a look. I don't like it. I respect everyone's wishes to appear how they wish, and I would never tell someone to, you know, be a different version of themselves, but my guy, a bald head is just, it's not working for me. Put, I, I hate berets, but put the beret back on, my guy. Please put it back. Just, 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 just no. Boone's the only one who makes berets work. Like, fetch. Fetch is never gonna happen, but if Boone said fetch, I'd be like, no, that's fetch, man. Ants go marching one by one, goodbye, goodbye. Wait, did they attack a caravan? Oh shit, I think they attacked a caravan. Oh fuck. That is quite the gore and viscera. Ew. That's not bueno. Fun fact, this guy may be the son of the mysterious stranger, and I want that guitar, it's so pretty. This game is arguably not the prettiest game in the world, I'm aware, but that that rendered acoustic is somehow gorgeous. Howdy there, partner. Story, stranger. My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Nevertheless, I'm interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Your father abandoned you. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wandering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. Must have been hard growing up without a father. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Uh, what will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. <laughs> Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. I mean... No, sounds like you should move on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Can't say that I do, sorry. I wish you could give him an option, like actually a place to go. Because we have been, by this point, we've been to enough settlements where this guy could find a place to chill. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. How do you find your good guitar you got? Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Have you been playing long? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. Hmm. All right, well, thanks for the conversation, my guy. So long, friend. I will be honest, I think more RPGs need stuff like that. 
Wasteland Tequila? Fuck it. Whoa, wait. Poison resistance plus nine, charisma plus one. Oh, it makes me really stupid, but it makes me strong as fuck. Tequila. That moment of, oh right, it's tequila. Of course you get strength. But no, I, I think more RPGs need characters like that where they have like no quest, nothing. They're just an actual just dialogue. Just for the sake of having a dialogue. I, there are so many games where like the NPCs where they just, they have either pre-scripted repeating lines or they're quest givers. It's rare that it's just, it's just a guy who just wants to talk. It, it makes the world feel more lived in. You learn about his history and you, you know, get to talk for a minute. Reminds you of being people. But yeah, that's tequila. Tequila. The vault is right here, right? Yep. Which one is this one? Vault 11. Uh, this is the one we want. Not now, anyway, though. We'll come back to Vault 11 later. And the best part is, is a gun runner and a uh, merchant over here that's selling some good shit. Also, Veronica's here. Let's don't know. Veronica's played by Felicia Day. And we all love Veronica. She's awesome. A 118, 188 trading post. Anything good in here? No. Tell me you put the hat back on, Bone. God, put the hat back on. Demand for gunrunner weapons is high, so don't expect them to stay in stock for very long. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? Because I got caps and you got shit. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. I figure a guy like you gets his pick of killing gear. You might be onto something. I'd like to hang on to any weapons mods I run across. Take a look. I need to grab stuff out of the other guys so I can sell them, but yeah. Got some stuff we can sell. 3,000 gil, you know, caps, not bad. Um, what do you have first? Um, 10 millimeter silencer, ooh. Cowboy repeater, yes. Hunting revolver, no. Power fist, no. Rifle. Okay, what do you got for ammo? You do got a got you got a good amount of stuff. Not bad. You don't got 357s, you suck. What do you got for weapons. You got a you got an assault cart. You got an oh. All right, so we got um. We've got an M16, a battle rifle. Lever action rifle, I already got one of those. I mean, it's not bad. The eight, the assault carbine though, that's a good weapon. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, no problem. Um, Bye. Boys, what is it? I need to trade and get my stuff back. Fine by me. Uh, I need this, 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 and this. Um, sunglasses. Maybe if I put the hat. Back on, please. Five oh, on just, just, I don't like that. And I can't tell you to equip it. It bothers me. Yeah. Just, just, just put the hat back on, please. <laughs> Eddie, I'm happy that you don't change your appearance based on what I give you. You are physically unable to change your appearance, and I love you for that, Eddie. 
You're perfect just the way you is. Now. Still making a nuisance of yourself. You're goddamn right I am. Take a look. And now I can sell you all the good shit. Don't need the three. I mean that. We don't need. Um. I'm gonna actually repair that one. But I do have. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna sell these and keep those. Um. How much do I have? Three hundred. We'll keep the nine millimeter pistol actually. We don't need the frag mines because I, I don't use mines. You know, as much as I liked it, I don't like the sight, so we're getting rid of that. Get rid of the machete. Um, we will probably use those later, so I'll get. I'll keep those. Not gonna. Ooh. That's gone. My guy, speaking my language. Sell the Legion crap. 2,000 for a giant hammer. Who am I to say no? Who am I? Who am I? I'm wanting that salt carbine. Oh, it's five. Oh. See, it only fires five millimeter. Do you have any? He doesn't really have any. It's kind of a problem. Oh, wait, no, he does. Okay, no, no. Oh, shit, he's got a lot. Fuck, okay. Guess what? We're getting the fucking um, assault carbine. And I'm still getting money from him. Oh my god, that's awesome. Um, do I want the battle rifle? 77, what's my, what's my hunting rifle at? I mean, no, we'll, we'll stick with what we got. Okay. Another satisfied guest. Thank Later. You. And before I regret my decision, why, what am I, how, how am I over? The fuck. Right. Eddie, I gotta give you some more stuff. I'm sorry. Um, put these away just for now. That away. Put those away. And that. Um, yeah. Thank you, Eddie. You're a peach. Got ourselves an assault car. Who the fuck are you? What are you doing around? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Ezekiel. I hear you've done some good things for the followers. And I heard that I have done good things too. I appreciate how you've been helping us so far. Yes. You're very creepy. Just saying. Yeah. What a weirdo. Where the fuck is that merchant? I think she's on that side. Over there? Is she? Is she? Yes, she is. You a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. I'm more of um something like that. Hell yes, sir. Well, not officially, not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. Ouch. What was your rank? Staff Sergeant, 3rd Platoon, Bravo Company. I was at the dam when the Legion hit us three years back. That was a shitstorm, and don't let anybody tell you different. The brass tried to play it down, but most of them were back at McCarran. Um, why'd you leave? I didn't. My CO ordered me to flog a couple deserters, and I told him to eat shit. So they kicked me out for insubordination. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. 
Damn. Good soldier. She didn't follow orders. Sure, no problem. You got a battle rifle too? You also got a power fist. Ooh, you actually have an actual sniper rifle. Ooh. Thinking about it. Really thinking about it. Ooh, can I, ooh, these are expensive though, shit. That's all you have is that, oh, okay. Um. Uh, how many do I have? 308s. <sighs> Fuck. This the Gunrunners one? Yeah. Mm. Puts me at 21. Okay. Trade. Yes, extended mags. Also, I want to put my assault rifle. Um, up there. Yep. Hi, Veronica. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? <laughs> I kind of have to. The grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Thank you. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Well, that sounds nice. You just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Um, they're usually harmless unless you have advanced technology around them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Going to see an old... Yeah, I'm um, going to see an old friend. This is quite a journey you're going on then. Must be an interesting relationship to have brought you all this way. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. You know what? Yeah. I normally don't travel with her because once I get Boone, I'm pretty much like set for life. We'll travel with Veronica for a while. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Yeah. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Fucking Felicia Day. Hey, what does the scribe assistant perk do? Uh, scribe assistant. The player can craft workbench items through Veronica's dialogue. Ah, nice. I, wait, wait, I have all three of you? Oh, shit. Oh, I can bring all three. Oh, that is so much better. Yes. I love the companion mod. I haven't tried it till now. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. You must have been at Bitter Springs. What happened there? We won. Tell me about it. Look, 
We've done some traveling together, but we're not exactly comrades in arms. I'm not ready to swap war stories. I mean, you want me to make good of my promise to fight the Legion with you, that... I don't know. Couldn't hurt. Alright. How do you feel about Manny? He was a good spotter. Weren't you also friends? Yeah. We were. Not anymore. When Carla went missing, he was the first person I told. He tried to hide it, but I could tell right away. He was glad. Sorry to hear that. Sure. Um, have we take the beret off? No. <sighs> the lie detector test confirms that is a lie. All right. Uh, are you an outlaw now? Now, okay, let's go. Yeah. What's up? Um, let's. No, um, no, you're good. See you around. Again, she's got a fucking power fist. I love how there's three of us now. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a whole squad. What the fuck? Who are you? Samuel? Who the fuck is Samuel? Welcome to the 188 slopping shop. Not the like voice I expected. <laughs> it's better than nothing. I need some repairs. Let me see what I can do. His voice did not match at all what I expected. Come back soon now. Like, I'm sorry, but that's not the right voice for that man's face. Not by a long shot. Uh, quests. Um, let's see. We got a lot of area to kill. I'm thinking... can't believe you have single-handedly put me back on file. I take no responsibility. You are a grown adult capable of making your own decisions. I simply nudged you towards a door. Are you having fun with Vala, by the way? Oh, I was gonna save, because I don't know... I don't know what this mod's gonna do when I fucking go into a building. It's all your fault. Did you say it's more all my vault? I will definitely see myself out for that joke. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Now we're gonna go to Vault 11. You all following me? Yes, they are, yes! Using a mod to clean up every inch of the sanctuary at the moment. Oh my god. San cleaning up sanctuary was a fucking bitch. I think I like spent so much time in sanctuary just doing that crap when I, whenever I play. I'm never even in sanctuary. I go right to fucking, I go to the, um, the Red Rock and I stay there. Send everyone else to sanctuary. They can live in the town, I'll live in the damn gas station. I like my healthy boundaries. Vault 11. Actually though, before I go in, this timing is perfect. That's usually what I do too. I've developed a whole like backstory vibe on it, right? It it just feels right to use the gas station as your place because like narratively speaking, why would you want to go back to the house with like all those bad memories? Vault 111, bitch. It's gonna be a funny ass thing when I edit later. Oh, it was very similar to what yours was. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you like had like made your own backstory or just like. I'm not kidding. The mod that lets me have all three of them just makes us so much better. I always feel bad when I get um, Eddie and Boone and I just don't go looking for anyone else. But now I can actually like have a gang. Oh my god, what if I could have every companion at once? That probably would break the game. Like, that actually probably would break things. Would be cool, though. Just run around with the whole party. Veronica. For the brotherhood. Open the door, please. Veronica. Punch out the, the bad guy, please. Veronica. 
punching out Mantis. I don't think we appreciate Veronica's pneumatic fist as much as we should. Oh, right. Vault 11's the, 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 the voting one. I forgot about that. Ooh, dog tip. Free level up. Enemies near. Oh, wait, can... What do you mean there's enemies nearby? They killed them all. I am confused. And did so, they're more than happy to let that be for the settlers that find their own place. I like that idea. Yeah, no, I like that. Also, yes, having every companion fucks up the game. Like, I know, like, restrictions and all, but I really wish the Fallout games did allow you to have every companion. At once, just because... I don't know. Will allow you to have all the companions while also upping the difficulty the more you have with you. That way, it, like, it doesn't feel like I'm just standing around while they do all the work for me. I like how Nightbot's actually being, like, worked out. Fuck. Oh, it's a rat. Get out of here. Just let me have dog meat in my... For, for Fallout 4, um, I always ran with Curie, dog meat, and um, uh, Nick. I would be content if I could just have those three. Like, for me personally, I think it should be like New Vegas and three... Well, just New Vegas. Where you have one human companion and one of the non-humans. That's a big ass mantis. Um, I liked that more than four, where you only get the what one or two. I forget what I forget. I forget, I forget what it is. I think it's only gonna have one. This three was the same way, if I remember right. You can only have one companion. Yeah, these three are just clearing the damn area without letting me do anything. There we go. Um, 16 points. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember how it was in three. It's been in three. Again, this is just by memory. A lot of the companions were based on your, um, your karma. Cause you couldn't get certain ones if you had a certain karma status. And, um, if I remember right in three, they actually died, died. Yeah, you might be able to. You you should be able to have dog meat with a compan another companion. I forget. I I haven't played three in more than a decade. I admit, of the three game, of the four modern iterations of Fallout, I think three is the worst. And that's just because after all the other ones came out, it's kind of hard to look at three and be like, yeah, you're good. I try so hard, but I can't. I know dog meat could unless you had that perk, but I'm not sure about the other comp I forget. Like, three was, ugh. Three was rough. As much as I shit on four, and I do shit on four a lot, and I don't mean to, it's mostly because I was let down that my back neck of the woods was just not what I wanted. Three was drastically worse than four. I will say three is worse than 76, and I haven't even played 76. I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to put points to. I forget. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, gotta get our lock picked closer to fifty. Uh, repair. Three does hold a special. Pl oh, don't get me wrong. Three, three is always gonna have nostalgia for everybody. But we've all had better, so we're looking at like, yeah, we're not we're nostalgic, but uh, not that nostalgic. I will say 76 is probably better than 3 in terms of mechanics, and maybe, just maybe, uh, world building. But I think 3 has a better story, because I don't know, I don't, does 76 even have a story or is it just missions? 
This is me showing my whole ass and I haven't played the game. I just, I don't have any compulsion. Um, well, DLC, um, mm. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it to barter and I'm just gonna remember to get the, um, the one next time. What do I got, what do I got, what do I got, what do I got? I couldn't play 76 long enough to find out. It was horribly difficult to play and even with the improvement. No, that's fair. Um, my main problem was I didn't like that it was marketed as an open world um, game. Not open world, uh, no, no, open world. Open world and online more than not. So I was just like, I don't want that. Yes, I would like to have a co-op feature in Fallout, but like, I would like it to be closed co-op. Like, I would like to play my game and have, like, you jump on and pl play as one of my companions. Kind of thing, like in Dark Souls, minus the invasions. But the idea of, like, everyone can just go griefing each other, I didn't like that. So I'm just like, it's not going to be for me. To those who love 76, good on you. Like, I hope you enjoy the game for all it is, but it's just not for me. I, I love how I don't take this... A sign of growing up is realizing the bloody mess is not worth taking unless you just want to giggle at people going <laughs> That's a sign of growing up. You gain double the bonus from reading magazines and one additional point from skill books. Ooh. I'm tempted. Not a lot, but I'm tempted. But yeah, no, like, it, it, I would totally love a Fallout game that's like two protagonists. And, like, similar to Resident Evil 5 and 6, you and another person play the game together. When I first started Fallout in general, first time... Yeah, no, yeah, I, I would love a co-op feature. Um, Just for the sake of, like, seeing what it would be like to have just two people doing a game like Fallout. That's two inputs. And then I played in a select down. That was me when I played, um... Why am I still evil? I'm almost tempted to just use the fucking command codes to fix it. Because I don't know how I'm going to get my fucking stuff back. I can't have Cass join me if I'm evil. How am I going to get Cass? Anyway, no, like, just... When I saw what they were doing with 76, I was let down, too. You can play multiplayer, just keep it not to a certain... See, like, I get all that. But again, it's just not what I wanted. And it's, it's perfectly fine to just not want what they give us. There are so many games out there where it's not the end of the world. It's just sad because, like, oh, that's what we wanted. We just didn't get it. I also admit, like, I, I kind of wish um, Outer Worlds was co-op. But that's just, it's, it's, it's Fallout in space. No fucking shit I want to be co-op. Let me and my friend go planet hopping and causing chaos. That being said, I still I don't have Outer Worlds and I still gotta get it. It's on my long list of like need to acquire games. My brother has it and he he said it's good. Outer Worlds would have been incredible co op. That's what I'm saying. Like it's ah, it's just a good game. I watched him play for a while and just I had no complaints. Sure, Outer Worlds would have been awesome. It would have been. Also, hi, Mike. I wasn't ignoring you. I was just, you know. Oh, that was a rat. I thought that was just... Wow. I just... I ignored that the threat was at my feet the entire time. Having three companions fucking rocks. I don't need to do a goddamn thing. I just gotta go room for room and let them do all the killing. See? Vote for stone. I really like... I'm gonna go on a, like a little tangent, but this vault is what I think would happen if MAGA people were put in more power. The idea that they just vote for the people they don't like to be like willingly removed. And they do it through things like this. Like we want to vote for who we get rid of and just... Uh, That's why I think the MAGA would do if they had more power. I genuinely think that's how it would go. Excuse 
And that is why I'm very much like, ooh. People, you be dumb. I would never suggest we take the right to vote away from people, but oh, there should be better um, systems in place. If I remember correctly, I'm not going to sit here and read all the fucking entries. The whole bullshit started because um, a woman would not... Well, she did, but then she, she fought back. She didn't want to be essayed anymore. Like, the people were, like, abusing her. Never do the hacking legit anymore. Just faster. See, guess what? I like taking the time. So, guess what? You're dealing with it. Also, like, this this just actually feels, like, cathartic. Just being able to, like, go through them all. Uh, nope. Oh, that's really off. Okay. Uh, boot. Oh, yeah. I used to, but when I did it... When I did it... When the, see? I don't actually get over it. I prefer this hacking to Mass Effect's hacking. Which is probably, f like, weird for some people. I prefer Fallout's hacking to uh, Mass Effect's. I think Mass Effect was just stupid. That's not how hacking works at all. I will admit, hacking minigames are not everyone's cup of tea. Bone, put your goddamn hat back on. It bothers me that you're not wearing your beret or glasses. Like, it legitimately bothers me. Also, I hate how Vault, well, I mean, Vault 11... Yeah, I just, I, I hated Mass Effect's hacking so much. Like, all three of them were just bad. Oh, it's over there? God damn it. This way. Yes. No? No. I just want to find the asshole who designed the vaults. Quick conversation. I fist his jaw. Like, it's that easy. Hmm. Also, I think what will always drive me nuts is that like because I'm streaming and I can't have the fucking radio on so it's just like this creepy ass quiet place nothing really going down and you're just like I don't like this guys you gotta deal with it just gotta deal no that's the way we came now I'm just lost. Why did I come in here? Like, the, 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 te technically, there's nothing really good in here. I don't think there's anything. I don't think Fault 11 had anything like fantastic. I'll be watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. What, really? Where the fuck is the damn state? Should be right there. No. I am just very goddamn confused. I may just say fuck. Well, they found something. At least they're finding things. You know what? I will admit, as much as I love New Vegas, I think this was one of my least favorite vaults. Because the map is just dumb. Then again, all local maps in Fallout suck. Like, they just... Oh, maybe it's this way. No, because I, no, I was down here. What the fuck?
whatever. Yeah, the, the, the fucking indoor maps are the worst. And they didn't get what I... I try not to harp on 4. I really do. They didn't improve them in 4. At all. It was like nothing changed. So you're just sitting there like... You, you in Elder Scrolls... Yeah, all Bethesda games, the maps are the worst. So you just sit there like, did you even try? At all. And is it confident? No. They didn't improve anything. That, yeah, the outdoor maps are perfectly fine. It's just all the indoor ones that suck. And in a game like Fallout where like a map would be extremely handy, you'd think, I know it's my fault for thinking again, oh my bad guys, you'd think they would have put a little effort into it by four. You would think. <laughs> 